Okay, people, um, this is a simple video. It's not hard with our integrating or differentiating. It's just to get a head around this whole A equals V to V dx. Um, since early grade 11, we've been playing with displacement time functions, velocity time functions, and acceleration time functions. And if we're given displacement, we are differentiating to get a velocity and differentiating again to get acceleration. Or if we start with acceleration, we're integrating to get velocity and integrating to get displacement. We've been doing that for a long time now and it's quite comfortable. Uh, but all of a sudden we've got different ways of going between acceleration, velocity and displacement when it's not to do with time and that's where that comes in. Okay, let's start with the question, f equals ma, our force is equal to its velocity and its mass is 10, so we're going to start really with um, a equals 1 tenth v, which is where the math starts. And we know a is v dv dx, so v dv dx equals 1 tenth v. Differential equation, I'm going to get the v's and the, VD, v's and the dv together. I'm going to get that circled v to the other side, so it's v on v. I'm going to leave the dv there and get the dx to the other side, and then I'm going to integrate. Clearly the v's cancel to 1. <coughs> So the integral of 1 dv is going to be v, and I've got x plus c. We are told that when the displacement is 1, the velocity is 1 tenth. Therefore, c equals 0, and we're just going to get... Clearly, c is not always 0. You've got to check it out and do it. But I've made this one nice and simple. So I've got a v, that's a function of x. So that is one of the functions we might need to know to find a relationship between velocity and displacement. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go around in no particular order. Um, let's focus on an a of x. So a is v to v dx. I'm going to use that thing again. a equals v dv dx. Well v I can see is one tenth of x and dv dx is the derivative of this thing here because that's a vx function. So that's one tenth. So I'm going to get an acceleration displacement function of 1 on 100 x. So that's acceleration in terms of displacement, not time. Okay. I'm going to come back to this thing here. V equals 1 on 10 x. V equals... We also know that velocity, this, this v, velocity is dx dt. This gets our time into our, into our function. Okay, so just another differential equation. I want to get the x's together with the dx, and I want to split that dt to the other side, integrate it, And all of a sudden, I'm going to get an x right. So that's our displacement time function with the c in it. I've got to go back to this thing here and find our initial conditions. Initially, the displacement is 1. So the displacement is 1 when t is 0. Therefore, c is 1. So my displacement time function is just going to be e to the 
one tenth t. Uh, now we're back in familiar territory, grade 11. We can differentiate that to get our velocity time function. An acceleration time function will be differentiate again. Now I want you to spend some time in there and just sort of link answers between the five functions just to prove to yourself that they all get the same answers for the same time. Um, so for example, uh, when t equals zero, v equals one on 10, when t is zero, x equals one, and when t equals zero, a equals one on 100. I can come back up here and go, hey, initially, x is one, so when x is one, a is one on 100, and up here when x is 1 initially, v is 1 on 10. So you see those answers there? They are the same as these answers here when x is 1. So it's sort of, I've got a, I've got a function that gives me anything that I'll ever want to know about this particle in terms of anything that I'm given. Anyway, spend some time in that. It's easier than you think. Um, Maths is great because it all agrees with each other. Have some fun.